happening right now, many local governments and volunteers are lending a helping hand in areas hit hard by Harvey. News 6 reporter James Barbero talked with one Brevard County group getting results for storm victims. Roads are flooding, water's rushing over the roadways. Houston's filled up with water. Arriving in a convoy from Palm Bay, Phil Colacomo and his team from Armstrong's Restoration and Construction witnessing the catastrophic property and human damages of an unprecedented storm. Last night, two elderly ladies was trying to get through some rushing waters, a river that has overflown, and they got stuck, and we had to go out there and help them get out of the river. So you guys are lifesavers already. <laughs> you know, hey. Try our best. The best they can do now is wait for floodwaters to recede. Phil is FaceTiming with us, stuck in a hotel 40 miles north of Houston. The highways leading into the city, impassable. Right now they just finally got to an area where they can actually bunker up at a hotel. Coworker Sean Lowe is communicating with the team from Armstrong's offices on Canova Street. Workers say they'll stay in Texas for weeks, helping to secure homes and helping more victims. Thank you for calling the American Red Cross. Two yeah, dozen Central Florida helpers from the Red Cross are also in Texas. Texas tonight. Organizers say more workers, these ones from the Space Coast, will hit the road in the coming days. All the Gulf Coast of Texas is really in a bad situation right now, so we're doing what we can to support here from Central Florida. As we've dealt with hurricanes, just Matthew a year ago, do you feel that has prepared you for what you're undertaking with your men and women right now? This flooding here, this is a one in 500 year flood. This here is something completely different. You probably can never be ready for anything like this. In Palm Bay, I'm James Sparvero, News 6.